All right, we've slipped back to sixth place after that little misfire there. Um, I definitely feel like I punted that last one, and for that I am ashamed because I should have thought about my outs. You always want to think about what are your outs. Grasp of Darkness was an out given that he was just tapping all his mana, and so was the, um, the artifact pumping guy, which would have just killed him in one shot, I'm pretty sure. So I should have just, you know, it would have been a different story if I had the mana, but since both of those mirror were giving me the double black and the double white, respectively, I needed to not make that play. So this hand seems keepable. I've got the Carnifex Demon. Um, really good card. Should be fine. So we're off to the races. Again, like, I should have just thought more about that. I reached a point with it where I just gave up because I was my head was just spinning with the possibilities and all the things that could happen and uh, I felt like if I just sat there and like waited he would pretty much just kill me um, so it seemed like doing something was was important but again I should have considered my outs So, here we are though, 6th place, I'm in the running for it, I just gotta beat this this person here, or the next person, really. That'll leave me with a chance of being in the top 8. And there's all my colors, so there you go. I think I should just play a mirror, and, um, by which I mean a mana mirror. Seems better. So let me play a stag, potentially, or... You know, and he might get freaked out and shatter it or something, in which case I have the mountain to back it up. Contagion class, that's fine. Hmm, I think I'll just play the Moriok replica. Probably ideal situation is draw land and sacrifice the replica and play Perilous Mirror. Yeah. I think that's the way to go. Hmm. Or I can play Strider Harness and equip it to Moriok Replica. And then next turn I could, if I draw a land, I can play Glimmer Point Stag, but I might not draw a land, and, you know, and Strider Harness and swing for four. That does seem good, but, you know, I may not draw a land. I think I'm better off just doing this. This prevents him from swinging. And I'll get my cards. Maybe I should have led with the Perilous Mirror instead of the Iron Mirror, because that extra mana would be pretty nice right now, but... I'm not, I don't know. Perilous Mirror is a good blocker. Golem Artisan. Boy, do I really wish that I had a Swamp. So I'm going to get one, hopefully. Well, I can always revoke existence. I think I might have to do that. Yep, guy's too good. I don't really want him to untap with that thing. And I'll play this guy. Full shock replica, not too concerned about that one. Ooh, Origin Spellbomb. Let's 
seems good. Draw a card and leave a mountain up. So lead and mirror. Well, that's going to be good. That's going to get my Carnifex demon online. And when I kill my own Necropeat, I can put a counter on Galma's Warden. Well, so clearly I need to play Lead and Mirror here. Probably don't want to play another Perilous Mirror until after I use my Carnifex Demon up. A black would be great here. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five. Well, I could just grasp his Galma's Warden. And then get in there with Perilous Mirror, Mirror, and Necropede. I guess I should probably keep Necropede back. Sure. If he wants to block both and take two, I'm fine with that. And then I'll play a Strider Harness. Can always Galvanic Blast his Oriac Sun Chaser if he gets Metalcraft. Revoke Existence the Necropede, interesting. Hmm, that's pretty good. Oh, yes. Land? Eh, close enough. Let's go like this, equip the harness, 